quote, the statistics that the, t the intelligentsia keeps citing are much more consistent with their vision of America than the statistics they keep ignoring, close quote. That, that's, a, that's a tough one to uh, encapsulate, but the basic confusion is between statistical categories and flesh and blood people. It's true that if you look at uh, the percentage of the income that went to the top 20 percent uh, and some year A, uh, and then later on, a decade later, you'll find that that percentage has gone up. And you say, well, that shows the disparity between the people. But the rich that, are getting richer. The rich are getting richer. Right. Uh, but when you, when you follow uh, statistics generated by the Internal Revenue Service, which can follow particular individuals over time, you find the people who are in the bottom 20% of taxpayers in the first year, uh, their income is nearly doubled by, the, by this uh, uh, late, later period, while the income of the people who are initially at the top is increased by less. And if you get down to the very top, it's actually going down. So that people are simply moving between these brackets from year to year. Uh, and the number of people who are in the bottom 20%, let's say in 1975, uh, who are still there in 1991 is 5% of them. Really? 29% of them have already gotten all the way to the top. Uh, absolute majority are in the top half. And so you're, you're, you're comparing what happens to these abstract categories rather than what's happening to actual flesh and blood people. So there's an enormous amount of churn and dynamism oh my gosh, within yes, the American... Yeah. And he, he, almost everybody's own, own personal life. I mean, look, what, what were you making when you were 20 years old compared to what you were making yeah, when you were 40? Negative. I was spending my parents' money when I was 20 oh, years old. There you are. Right? All right. Okay. So why would the intellectuals, what you've just made is, a, is an intellectually rigorous case. Why would an intellectual, as you use the term, be loath to look at that intellectually rigorous argument, be loath to examine the data the way you did? Well, he's happy with the data that he got. Well, why would he examine? So, why would he go further? He looks at the numbers. The numbers say what he what he thinks it should say. Hey, that's it. Right. QED, and he moves on to the next great uh, crusade. Intellectuals in society, once again, the very phrase "income distribution" is tendentious. Wealth can be created only after capital and labor have reconciled their competing claims and agreed to terms on which they can operate together in the production of wealth. Close quote. Income distribution, the very phrase is tendentious. How come? Income is not distributed. Uh, and, 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 I mean, uh, newspapers are, dis are distributed. Social security checks are distributed. And one time, milk was distributed. Income is not distributed. People earn it directly for, from, from those to whom they provide some good, good, and, good or service. Uh, and the argument made by many people, you see, is that... Uh, uh, it's a question of capital and labor have conflicting uh, interest in, 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 uh, di in dividing up the income. Right. No, no. Uh, there is no income to divide up before they first reconcile their conflicting interests and decide on what terms they're going to produce that income. Uh, there, there, there is no pre-existing, there's no manna from heaven for them to fight over. Another quote from Thomas Sowell, you can only confiscate the wealth that exists at a given moment. You cannot confiscate future wealth. And that future wealth is less likely to be produced when people see that it is going to be confiscated. Of course, as common sense as that might be, it might not be so obvious to the delusional left who have been brainwashed by the mainstream media and slight dirty politicians to say, hey, look at this portion, focus here. You see, this has moved from 30% to 50% of all the wealth going to the top 10, 20% or the rich, whatever caricature that is. Look at here. Well, don't look at this other portion where this so-called caricature that you've called the rich in your mind is actually an immigrant who got here destitute and had to work his butt off for 20 years, sold this business to finally get to this bracket of being in the top 10, top 20%. Hey, you're not interested in that. All you want is your money, of course. To be clear, I'm all for wealth redistribution as long as those who are pushing it lead by example. So once we begin first with the politicians and we redistribute their wealth and everyone we supporting this, they bring their property to the table and we divide it, then we can talk about mine. Until then, you let me know what you think about this in the comments below. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell if you're new to the channel. Click that share and send it to one or two friends that might enjoy this. Thank you so much for watching and until the next one, stay free.